everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. Winter prep is underway here in our coop. Today, we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at some different types of heated water options you can add to your coop. Let's get started. Now, every coop is a little bit different. Some of us can go out to our coop multiple times during the day, during the cold winter season. And some of us, it's a little bit harder to get to the coop. So having a heated waterer, one that you plug into electricity, just helps to ensure that your flock is going to have access to water that is not frozen during the winter time. The options that we're talking about are safe ways to make sure that the water does not freeze in the coop. There are so many different types of heated waterer options. The first one we're gonna look at is this one right here. This is the Farm Innovators two gallon heated bucket. This bucket here is super easy to fill and your flock's gonna love the easy access to the water. I'll tell you, in my coop, I love to use this option for my ducks because they can get their entire head, their nostrils, their bill, all into the water, get everything all cleaned out. The water's not gonna freeze and the size of the bucket, the ducks can't go for a swim. Although they're ducks, so there's no guarantee they may not try to jump in there. <laughs> Is your flock used to using a nipple waterer type system? Well, there are options out there to ensure that those nipple valves don't freeze. Here are two options right here, the freeze-free nipple watering valves, and here's a heated nipple waterer as well. These are really great because your flock can't sit in the water or try to stand in the water. I know, they're chickens. Sometimes they try to do weird things. <laughs> and it's going to help to ensure that the water is not only not frozen, but it's gonna be kept clean as well. Another option to use is a heat plate, like this one right here. If you have a water that your flock loves to use during the other seasons, you can continue to use that waterer by setting it on this plate here. This plate is going to help to ensure that the water does not freeze in your waterer. Another option you can use is a traditional waterer that is a plug-in. This one right here is the thermal poultry waterer. And I'll tell you from personal experience, I've used this waterer for three to four years and we love it. The flock cannot sit on top of the waterer. There's a tray at the bottom that you can lift off and dump out in case there's any debris in there. And it's super easy to clean. Where I live is really cold and we have never had a problem with our water freezing at all with this waterer. Hopefully we've given you some inspiration to add a heated waterer to your coop. I've left a link in the description below to all the waterers we mentioned today and a link to even more heated water options that we offer here at Meyer Hatchery. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. I gotta get back to getting the coop ready for winter. <laughs>